press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Super intensive, shrimp farming is current modern profitable business in the world. Modern super intensive, shrimp farming is being farming a lot more shrimp in some places. Day by day demand of intensive shrimp, farming is increasing. type of farmers. Most farmers operate, one or two ponds, as a family business, and these farmers tend to be not very well organized. Export-oriented businesses operate large amounts of ponds, ranging from, 50 to a few a few hundred hectares. Production and Harvesting System Semi-intensive pond farming uses a monoculture system. Average pond sizes range between 2500 m2 to 2 hectare. Most farmers employ a partial water exchange system using tidal rhythms. In all provinces pea monotone are harvested year-round. It takes an average of 160 days for the shrimp to reach 35 grams. Shrimp are typically harvested all at once using a net when the ponds are drained. The survival rate lies between 80 and 90 percent. Stocking densities and productivity. In all provinces, pea monotone are stocked year round, with the exception of the first few weeks of the rainy season. Stocking density of, the ponds is around, 20 to 50 pl per m2. Plant harvesting sizes influences stocking density. If one wants to grow or bigger fish the stocking density must be reduced. Average annual productivity lies between, 9 to 12 tons per hectare. <laughs> Use of seed, feed, and other inputs. Post larvae or PL can be sourced from a number of hatcheries throughout the country. Some farmers buy PLs that have been sourced from the wild. In this type of shrimp farming systems, no nurseries are used as this increases mortality. Most operators using semi intensive pond systems use a combination of natural feeds and commercial pellet feeds. Monoculture farms tend to feed the shrimp with pellet feeds, three to four times a week. The feed, conversion ratio is around 1, 1 1.4 to 1.6. For large quantities of fish, a channel needs to be ready, and the harvest, needs to match the demand. Cold storage facilities, and containers need to be ready as well. Once you pack your product, it can be safely transported, and distributed. Fish can be chilled with ice from, the time it is caught, until it is packaged, and stored in cold storage, or until it reaches the customer. The fish need to be frozen rapidly, and stored in a constant, low temperature soon after, they are caught. In commercial farms, heat from the fish is removed, either by spraying, keeping in touch with a cold surface, or with a stream of cold air, before they are refrigerated. It's important to maintain the recommended storing temperatures, and storing processes to maximize fish life, and minimize food spoilage. Fish can also be dried, and canned for selling. <laughs> 